Welcome back everybody to more Atlas Reactor here on Additional Pylons Games. Today we've got another overview, another character overview. Today we are looking at Oz. Oz is our final firepower freelancer at the moment. Uh, we'll see if they ever roll out some new firepower freelancers, but for now, Oz is the last one to do. So he's a rebellious toy bot who uses after images to trick and damage enemies. So we're gonna make good use of that. You can see low health, high damage, pretty good survivability, and a high difficulty cap. Um, I would say that along with Quark, Quark and Oz probably are the two most difficult freelancers to get right, to do well. So by no means am I going to do justice to the high level players, that um, the high level plays that you can pull off with Oz, but I think that I can give you guys a decent beginner's guide, which is the, what this is intended for if you're interested in getting Oz. So let's go ahead, take a look at his abilities. So you see here, main ability, Phaser laser, Oz and his after images fire laser that do damage and additional damage if they hit the same target. Um, the mod that I've got, you get addition, even more additional damage for hitting the same target with your after image. So basically, to explain what after image does for Oz is whenever he moves, the place where he was standing last time, he leaves an after image. He leaves a, a ghost copy of himself. That copy also uses the same ability that Oz uses. So these three, these first three abilities, you not only pull off uh, an attack from your current location, but also the location where you were previously. So this obviously sets up a lot of complicated and advanced moves as far as positioning so that you can hit multiple enemies with your lasers, with your attacks. Moving on, you've got Photon Spray. This is a three turn cooldown blast and Oz and after, after images deal damage, they deal damage in a cone and you get more damage obviously if that cone overlaps and hits uh, an enemy twice. So you get energy per enemy hit and then we've got a mod where we get even more energy per enemy hit. So this is kind of just your, this is kind of your shotgun spell almost, um, similar to what a number of other characters have. Next we've got Zap Trap, four turn cooldown blast. Basically Oz and his after images create uh, a zone around them which does damage. Um, direct damage and then you do additional damage if an enemy is caught in both blast zones. Um, the other thing is that these blast zones, these traps, last until the next turn. So not only are you attacking this turn, but if any enemies move and sit there coming through the next turn, they'll also take damage. You get energy per enemy hit and our mod makes enemies weak so they're not able to do as much damage until the next, the end of the next turn. So this is really good. We've got our dash here, five turn cooldown. It's also a free action, which makes this very interesting. Basically, this allow, it allows you to switch locations with an after image, and then you can target abilities and do attacks. So again, this allows you not only to get out of situations where you, you know, you get out of sticky situations, but it also allows you to continue to pull off your damage at the same time. Mod gives us might for the turn, and it gives us five energy to boot. Finally, we've got our ultimate, Catch me if you can, no no cooldown. Basically, <clears throat> the first place that you select, you're gonna dash to that new location. Then you're able to select two more locations and you'll have two after images that go to those locations. You gain Unstoppable for the turn and we've got a mod that gives us um, additional range on our attacks. Obviously, um, this sets up for some good combos because you're able to do damage not only from your movement, um, from your dash this turn, but the following turn, the follow-up turn, what you're able to do is set up yourself so that you're in a really good position to get enemies in a lot of your crosshairs. So maybe in your photon spray crosshairs, in your phaser laser crosshairs, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and look at Catalyst. So for Catalyst, Turtle Tech, um, we have a low survivability. So that's why I go defensive, shift, same thing with teleport away. But I go for brain juice on Oz because we do have um, a five, four, and a three turn, turn cooldown spells. Uh, per, in particular, we, we wanna try and use this made you look um, spell early on and then reduce the cooldown with brain juice. So that's the strategy that we're going for. So let's go Here ahead we go. and get in. A little bit of Oz's background. He's kind of this toy robot that's gone rogue. Oh, hold on, forgot to set this cool. up. So we're gonna go in P 
PvP or uh, PVE. Time for the unveil. And the reason I do PVE is again, it's just a little bit easier to pull off combos. It's a little bit easier to predict uh, the bots than it is uh, human enemies, obviously. Um, this just allows to me to showcase the abilities for you guys. Um, I do do I do do I said do do. I also play PvP, which is a lot of fun. It's a very it's a very fun game. If you guys haven't tried Atlas Reactor, I would encourage you to do so. It's a good time. So we've got Oz on our team, Quark, Rampart as our tank, Pup for our other freelancer, our other firepower freelancer. Mission um, starting. So Oz is a little bit of a he's a toy robot. Turn my volume down just a little bit. He's a toy robot, and uh, he's a little bit strange. He's a, um, he's kind of like this graffiti Graphic artist, graffiti. almost. So you can see there, there's my after image back here. Not going to be much use this turn, but we might be able to make use of it in another time. So we are only able to hit Garrison. He's probably going to charge in, but we'll give it a shot anyways. So from here, we'll move up. <laughs> So this is where we start to see positioning being very important, Something very critical for, for Oz. We want to set ourselves up so that our last location and our next location that we're going for... Time to jam. I, we want to make sure that both locations are optimal for firing on an enemy. So that we get that, the, basically so we get the crosshairs crossing. Interesting. Okay. So, you see here, there's our last after image. If we use our phaser laser, we can actually get both Garrison and Gremolition's Inc. in our crosshairs. So let's go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to move back. I'm ready for my close-up. Shield engaged. So, enemy team is Gremolitions Inc., Brian, Garrison, and Celeste. You can see Celeste down here with her party dress outfit on. Brian, Gremolitions, and Garrison in the middle. Rampart, probably not your best shield, but we'll take it. Unfortunately, we took a little damage. There we go. Did some damage. Okay. Pop is dragging Gremolitions back this way, hopefully. Work really needs to get out of the middle there. That's not good for us. Alright. So Gremolitions is... That was strange. Gremolitions is very weak. Well, let's see, can we target Orion at all? Yes. There we go. And then we're going to get up out of here. Time. So the other thing that this allows for, geez, maybe I should have used Turtle Tech. Um, the other thing that our after images allow for is it allows us to actually hide and still fire. So we're going to have an after image right here that allows us to still do damage um, next turn. So we're going to be behind this wall. Not a lot of enemies. Okay, we'll have one enemy to attack. Um, so this is a good place for us. Let's go ahead and use Major Look, and then we'll use Zap Trap. And while we're at it, Brain juice as well. Okay, getting that so what this position. means is we're going to switch positions with our last after image. Link, so we're going to go from. So we just swap positions. Hopefully Emergency our enemies have targeted us here. That's not gonna buff zap out. trap. So we've got Celeste away. and Garrison in our zap trap. There we go. Garrison didn't target us anyways, and Celeste yeah, didn't target us. That's good. But now we're still in the thick of things. And we're on pretty low health. So I'm going to go ahead and shift over here. Get this health. And get out of the way. Wait till you see this. The suspense is killing me. And you too soon. Not a scratch on me. 
So we still have an after image here that we can use to, to fire on some of the enemies here in the middle if we need to do so. Dang. Okay, so she was aiming to get the health, but she ended up hurting me. It is what it is. That's not good. Let's teach them how to fly. So there you go. That would have hit me if I had not zapped away. Got kind of garrison pretty good. Um, we're still in danger though, and we don't have any escapes right now, so we're gonna turtle tech, and we are going to. We're just gonna use our regular ability. Come back here, get energy. So we're gonna kind of do this. Full speed ahead. Okay. So we're gonna come get this energy move back so that we stay out of the firing lane of uh, Grimalicious Zinc. The big thing. Could be in trouble here though. Heavy metal incoming! Ooh, that's some big damage there. Alright, so we're hurting pretty bad. And... <laughs> Guys, I'm not sure if we're going to make it out of this one. <laughs> so, we're going to hit Celeste, and then we're going to come down here. Get that movement so fun. There's a very good chance that we're going to be done. We're going to die, unless... Pork does something amazing for us. That's probably not going to be enough. Unless he eats Celeste's ultimate. Which I think her ultimate passes through anyways. There we go. We got killed Grammolitions. But Celeste will probably kill us. Never mind. Wow, we survived. That's surprising, to say the least. Okay, so here we are. We've got the ability to, um, yeah, let's go ahead and zip out. So we're going to move right back here, safe with Rampart, but we're also going to have Orion hit and hit, a, hit Orion Getting a second my hands dirty. So, thankfully, we're going to dash out of the way of any danger. At least that's the hope. Shields up and over. Yeah. You! I'll bond to you from over here. Alright, so we just made it out Pretty of Orion's bad. attack. Rampart with a good ultimate there as well. And now we're in a pretty decent position. We've got our We've got two after images here, so we're going to use Zap Trap to deal some good damage to them. And while we're able to, we're going to move here and still get our. Feeling inspired. Get another uh, movement power up. But you can see how positioning is very important for Oz. It's important that he you know, is fragile, so he needs to stay out of the way. Um, Quark is not my favorite as far as, um, as, far as healers go. But it is what it is. Good sub wolf by Pup. So Celeste is definitely down. And Orion is almost dead as well. Orion is dead. But again, you see the importance of after images and positioning with, with Oz here. So we are able to hit Garrison with both of our attacks, actually. So let's go ahead and deal some damage to him, and then we will move here. Master Actually. at work. Let's make an atom together. I call nuclear. All right, might and energize. That's good for us, because that means we're going to do more damage with our phaser laser, and we're going to get more energy as well. Ready on three. Three. All right, so we found Grimalicious. Got him. All right. So, I don't know where anyone is other than 
potentially Grimalitions, but we can't reach him anyways. So let's go ahead and just... Let's move down here. This is always a good, a pretty decent position. And we'll fire there just in case for some reason or other somebody moves in that direction and dashes over there. Good looking out. There's not a very good I'm chance of it. But you never know. Son. When it comes to uh, the AI, a lot of times they do stuff that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That was a pretty good attack though from Grim. Grimalitions. Um, so we can do a fair amount of damage to Orion, but we're not going to be able to reach him with both. I don't think. Oh, we are. There we go. Alright, we'll move one space this direction. So we're going to have two Im after images right next to each other. Probably, uh, not probably, most likely not the best strategy, but... I needed that. But it might give us a unique firing position next time. Up with a good chase. There we go. So we're going after Orion. Alright, so Garrison is after us. Alright, so we definitely need to move this way. So that we stay away from Garrison. Let's go ahead and... Deal some big damage to Celeste, and that'll be that. Bombing run, bombing run, bombing run. <laughs> That's a new voice. A voice. Uh... Don't you try to bully me. Bombing run. All right. Feed me your rage. So Orion is uh, looking pretty low. We've been slowed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Major Luck and switch positions, and then we're going to use our Phaser Laser here, try and do some major damage. Um, afterwards, I'm going to come down here to get out, because we're probably going to be... There's a decent chance that I'm still going to get hit, even though I'm down here, just because you might have a line attack or something like that. go got full energy so we'll be able to use our ultimate one more time Bouncing. pop with the big miss that's not good so rampart's gonna go down so it's just me and pop up right now all right stay on target so let's go ahead and get in actually no that was that's a bad let's go ahead and move back here and send our after images there and there definitely didn't want to put ourselves right here that would not have been done holding back would not have been the wisest decision so we didn't do any damage to anyone. Didn't do any damage to anyone, but we definitely put ourselves in a position where we have the ability to hopefully get one of these guys next turn. All right. Four turns remaining. So we're going to go for Orion, like that. We're going to see if we can't chase him down. So we're going for Orion. You will serve me still. Your job, pup. There we go. Drum a Gregan crew. Come in real. Well, thankfully, Gremlitions wasted their ultimate Not on one person. Now. They all wasted their ultimates. Three people wasted their ultimates on one character that was pretty much already dead anyways. So that's Three good for turns us. Left. We're going to get this as close to the wall as possible. And come up here and all the way this way. Let the creativity so. flow. We're chasing down Orion. See if we can't get a kill. Really? 
It's lights out for you. Watch for the bounce. All right. So we tagged him. Weakened him. Not dead yet. He is way over there. Two turns left. All right. So we can reach him. Let's go ahead and get him. And then keep chasing him down just in case. Just in case. Gonna be a bloody good party. There it is, boys. Orion's down. Ragdoll physics. <laughs> Send him flying. Uh, and that's the game. So, a little bit closer Victory. than I would have liked. Uh, again, Oz, very that high skill cap, very high difficulty. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a masterpiece, Oz. But anyway, very high difficulty, very high skill level needed to play Oz and play him well. I definitely didn't do him justice. I made a few mistakes there, I know, with my movement. But movement... Oz is probably the, the character where movement is the the most important because he has um, so many abilities that are reliant upon good position. So something to keep in mind if, you, if you're looking to play Oz. So thanks again for tuning in for another episode of Atlas Reactor here on Additional Pylons Games. Hit like and subscribe. Share this video if you want to share it. Leave a comment below if you have anything to say, any tips, any questions on using Oz. And uh, connect with me on Twitter if you want to connect that way. So thanks again for tuning in and tune in next time as we continue working through all the different characters here in Atlas Reactor. We'll see you then here on APG.